Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tyler, pharmacist with Pharmacy Update, and today I want to talk about a newer drug. It was approved by the FDA in May of last year, and that is Amovig. This was the first product approved in its class of drugs, and it is used for migraine prevention. I will discuss how Amovig works, how well it was shown to work in clinical trials, what the potential side effects and risks of Amovig could be, and at the end of the video, I will let you know how you could potentially get this drug for a $5 copay if you have commercial insurance. So here we go. So how does Amovig work? Well, it is in a new novel class of medications known as the calcitonin gene-related peptide, or CGRP, receptor antagonist. And this was the first one of its class to come out that blocked CGRP. And since then, there's also been a Jovi and an Gaudi that have been released. So how does it work exactly? Well, they believe that CGRP has a role in causing migraines. It is involved in the dilation of dural and cerebral blood vessels. And the theory is, is that these dilations are what is causing the migraines. So they have found that in some cases, when people are having a migraine, CGRP is increased in the bloodstream. And also, if you inject someone with CGRP, it can cause a migraine. So the thought is, if you block CGRP, you can effectively prevent migraines from happening. So this is a drug that will be used for patients that experience multiple migraines a month. How well does Amovig work at preventing migraines? Well, here's the results of a couple late-stage clinical trials that were performed. In the first trial I'm going to cover here, patients in the study had an average of 8.3 migraine days per month. And I've had a couple migraines in the past myself. I really can't imagine having a migraine eight days a month. That just really blows my mind. But anyway, they grouped people into either receiving a 70 milligram injection of Amovig a month, a 140 injection, or placebo, which is basically nothing. Um, placebo is sometimes referred to as a sugar pill. And in the trial, people who had the 70 milligram injection had an average of 3.2 less migraines in a month. People in the 140 milligram group had 3.7 less migraines a month. And this is compared to people who received placebo. They had an average of 1.8 less migraines a month. They did find this to be a statistically significant decrease in migraines. And then they had another trial where they were trying to find what percentage of patients had a decrease of 50% or more of their migraines per month. So the dose in this trial was 140 milligrams a month uh, versus placebo. In this particular trial, they found that 30% of patients had 50% less migraines a month and I believe that was after 12 weeks. This is compared to 17% of patients receiving placebo uh, who had a 50% reduction. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a cure-all for people who have chronic migraines. I will say there were some ultra responders in the trials, people who it really helped, and some even became migraine-free after getting this medication. So there are people out there that this medicine can really help. Next, I want to move on to some potential risks of this drug, including side effects. In the clinical trials they performed, Amovig was pretty well tolerated when it comes to side effects. The most common side effect they found was pain or redness at the injection site, and around 5-6% to of people uh, may experience this. Also, constipation and muscle cramps and spasms are potential side effects. Now, the bad thing about newer drugs is that the long-term side effects really aren't known. They haven't been available to the public long enough to see what it can do to people that take it for years. And there is some in the medical community that are concerned about the potential cardiovascular risks of Amovig. So there are some CGRP receptors in the body that are not located in the brain, particularly in the cardiovascular system. Since CGRP causes vasodilation, these substances may have a protective role in this area. And especially for people who have ischemic events, such as heart attack or stroke, CGRP may help those in this situation. 
However, so far in clinical trials, they have not found this to be an issue, but it is something to be aware of if you have cardiac problems or a history of heart attack or stroke, you may want to wait until more long-term studies have been completed. Also, if you have an allergy to latex, the needle shield and gray needle cap of Amovig contain a derivative of latex, so watch out for that. Now, just very quickly, I wanna go over how to use Amovig if you do get a prescription. So it is a subcutaneous solution, and you will give yourself this injection it can be given in the abdomen as long as it is at least two inches away from your belly button. Also, it can be given in the thigh or upper arm. The pins are stored in the refrigerator until you are ready to use it. And when you are getting ready to use it, you'll want to let it sit at room temperature for at least 30 minutes. And just make sure you don't expose it to direct sunlight. Also, do not shake the product for any reason. And now my final topic, coupons are available from the drug company if you're going to use this product. This is only for people with commercial insurance from an employer or elsewhere. Um, but if your insurance is funded by the government, such as Medicare or Medicaid, or even the VA, these coupons are not available to you, only for commercially insured patients. I will leave a link below in the description if you want to learn more information on the coupon program. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for the latest pharmacy and medical updates and drug reviews such as this one. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. And please like this video if you thought it was helpful. I would appreciate that. So thank you guys again, and have a nice day.